Hello there, collective. All right, I'm doing a very quick, very quick. Um, pick a card. It's just gonna be two piles. Pile one. Pile two. Pile one. Pile two. Pile one. Pile two. If you don't know how a pick a card works, go ahead and intuitively pick whichever pile you are most drawn to. So, whichever one calls out to you more, whichever one you feel like your message might be in. Pile one or pile two. Okay? Once you have your pile selected, you can skip forward to your pile if you're watching this on the recording. If you're watching this live, then go ahead and be patient and wait till I get to your pile. All right? So, Everybody is ready. We're going to start with pile one. If you want to pick both of them, then that is fine too. You may have a message in both. So, pile one, the overall message for pile one. The overall message for you guys, pile one, is a lot of anxiety. It's time for you to recover and to heal and to find some relief from whatever this like mental torment you've been putting yourself through is. How can they find this relief? In order to find the relief, you've got to stop being indecisive. It's time to take a new idea. Find some mental clarity. What is causing the anxiety? The cause of the anxiety, it looks to be, it's got a lot to do with the, your um, voice and hearing other people's voices and truths. But it looks like you're dealing with some bullies, maybe like an abusive relationship, some violence, maybe like um, somebody like, making you feel like they're able to bully you around with their words or with their actions. You're fearful of it. Yeah, you're definitely fearful. They are probably a very possessive um, individual. Yeah, this person's coming in pretty immaturely. Definitely a troublemaker. How do they get out of it? I know you said to get some clarity of mind, but what is what is overall advice for this pile? For pile one. Overall advice. The overall advice. You're, you're giving up too soon. I feel like you, you wanted an apology or you have the ability to apologize because it energy flip-flops. So you could be the one that is the more abusive like verbally or physically, um, or you could be the one that's getting treated poorly. But it looks like um, either way, there's an apology that could be made, but it's not being made. It's due to a lack of ambition and um, an energy of giving up too soon. So 
If somebody's trying to apologize to you, it might be time for you to hear them out or demand it from them. And if you're needing to apologize or wanting to apologize to somebody else, then the same goes for you. There is going to be some rapid movement with a queen of cups. So a nurturing, supportive, feminine energy. It doesn't have to be biologically feminine. And her ability to recover, um, possibly to leave, leaving like the abusive relationship. So. I feel like it's almost like you're waiting around for an apology then um, and the apology hasn't come yet or it hasn't been actually proven. Okay, so yeah. Um, when will this happen? Or what, is, what does she need to know in order to leave and what does he need to know in order to not have her leave? If this is the masculine watching... this is the masculine watching then it is it has to do with your free-spiritedness it's time for a lifestyle change basically also for you to control your temper more not be as hothead or um, reactive or avoidant Also, allow self-defense to be something that is um, respected or performed. Mm -hmm. And then for the feminine, if you're the feminine watching. Okay, if you're the feminine watching, you've got two choices. Right now you're multitasking between the two of them. You're being indecisive with it. It's causing you to have a stagnancy on your necessary transition that needs to happen. It's also causing you to be codependent on somebody who you feel is nurturing or you were misled to think was nurturing and um, it's leading to ultimate disappointment, a dark disappointment. So it's important for you if you're the feminine that you just um, Allow yourself to really be honest with yourself and stop being so indecisive about staying or going because if you haven't gotten the apology you're waiting for yet, then it's probably not going to come. If you're the masculine, then it's probably time that you just carry on your way and leave this feminine alone before you end up actually hurting her. And yeah, that's all I have for this pile. For pile two, moving on, like I said, it's going to be a quick, quick, quick reading. So pile two. Let's see what the overall message is for pile two. All right, so pile two with the pretty blue. <laughs> overall message for pile two okay so it's time to walk away you've got a lot of stress going on a lot of mental blocks and a lot of anxiety possibly surrounding or confusion surrounding your ability to walk away from a situation that you are emotionally hung up on. <laughs> Why? Why don't they want to walk away? Okay, you don't want to walk away because you feel like there's still hope for this person that you're waiting on. He is immature. He's also very slow moving. There could be potential stability possibly in the future, it appears right now, but unfortunately right now there is not material happiness 
or um, it's also becoming something that may be a bit codependent and you are going to be disappointed by it. So what can I do? Okay, so looks like you may have like um, built yourself up a little bit of a wall out of protection or out of like um, necessity because of feeling like um, feeling almost like a victim, but not really a victim, like more like um, like the one that has to do things for everybody else, you know. Um, It could have to do with your finances, but I feel like it's more so like your just overall happiness. Like, why? And it does have to do with like a new job or the lack of a new job, possibly a new home. But it seems like there could be hope that's returning because of all this previous disappointment. So you may be actually in pretty good spirits right now. No, maybe, I don't know, some of you maybe, but I feel like it's more so like, like there was a job that you wanted something to do with and, or you're hoping or you're waiting on the job, like, um, or on the new home. And it's causing you to kind of have that pessimism or that like, um, like man, nothing ever goes in my favor type attitude almost. Um, let me get more clarity on that though. <laughs> yeah, you've got your own anxiety built up. Like, definitely you're imposing yourself into this prison. Not a literal prison, but like a mental prison. Like, your anxiety is really, um, controlling your actions right now or it's causing you to not take actions right now I feel like there is a possible romance that's coming your way or it could have to do with a possible romance obviously since this is a collective reading take it as it resonates I feel like this person possibly has children with you if they don't have children with you then it's somebody that you've known for a while um, it could be somebody that you have childhood memories with it could be like your actual children yourself um but it looks like there's somebody that's going to come in and kind of like swoop you up off your feet and it's for real happiness like real family fortune um so it does seem like things are turning around possibly however of course there's always a however right you want to really be cautious that you don't get bored. There's definitely an air of energy around like some immaturity that may come out during boredom that may cause some issues. Take this time that you're um, alone or take some time alone so that you can find balance again and you can possibly recover from any addictions that you're going through or um, just any devil energy that you need to sweep away from you. So, so like basically like you've already shut yourself away a little bit from everybody building up those walls and being in that self-imposed prison etc. Um, and so take advantage of that. Take advantage of this time by yourself so that you can actually recover from whatever it, this vice is that may hold you back from other things in life that you wanted to do. Don't get impatient, but you're going to have to um, really like, it's time for a lifestyle change, basically. There may be a feminine energy who is really negative as far as like um, cold shouldered, um, really detached or dismissive or um, like rude, bitchy, <laughs> basically. Um, 
And so there's going to be a truth that's being brought to light surrounding that feminine and why she's acting that way. So don't let your intuition get blocked on the situation. Allow yourself to take a step forward into a new direction and to start fresh. You may be waiting for results, but it's time for you to make the choice. Don't wait for the results. Don't let yourself have your boundaries imposed upon and don't allow geez. And don't allow yourself to feel like you are unstable or incapable of finding your own stability. Um, possessiveness is not going to be something that you need to really be um, practicing right now it's time for you to walk away from the things that you feel like you should be possessive over because you shouldn't have to be possessive over anything that's truly yours everything else is replaceable so don't let it mess up your energy or your life or your day for something material or a person who isn't investing the same amount of energy towards you. You may have like a lack of hope right now um, in regards to being able to find the mental clarity or the new idea that you need to discover so that you can move forward on this journey and find that balance. How can they get this new idea? How can they how can they get out of that? That romancer that I had mentioned that is possibly trying to swoon you or is coming towards you. Don't let your anxiety ruin it. That's a very, very important message here. Your anxiety seems like it is making you doubt and lock yourself away from this person. And he really is somebody that wants to give you, um, be your knight in shining armor, basically. This doesn't necessarily have to be a masculine. It could be a feminine as well, um, who's just more in her masculine energy. But um, either way, it, it's definitely a younger energy or like a more youthful energy so possibly like that fresh puppy love type feeling or maybe you guys are just younger um they could be younger than you but either way it's somebody that's going to be very um lovey and they want to make you into a family they want to make you happy and they want to take care of your kids if you guys have kids together um so trust it stop letting your anxiety get a hold of you it's time for you to make a lifestyle change. And if you are the masculine, if you are this swooner, <laughs> the, the romancer, then it's important for you to understand that your feminine has a lot of anxiety and it would be very beneficial for both of you if you allowed her to find her trust in you again. Um, for whatever reason, prove it to her. You know, um, obviously don't allow your boundaries to be stepped on, but sometimes people really need to feel safe and to be heard and be able to trust in the trust in the love that's being offered to them since so many people use it as a way to manipulate instead um it can be a very scary dynamic and it's causing her to feel like she has to shield herself away and it may be blocking your guys's full connection Whatever you do, don't fall into problematic situations as far as your boredom. Again, that came out. So, seems like this pile actually has a lot of potential in front of them. However, it's being blocked by the own little devils inside. And um, it's time for you to allow yourself to get that clarity so you can release that and have that lifestyle change. And... Um, overcome any of these struggles that you're going through so that you don't have to feel that way and also um, for the feminine to not allow herself to be bitchy <laughs> and um, trying to actually trust the masculine and if you're a masculine then to um, be empathetic towards the bitchiness that may be being shown to you and understand where it's coming from and um, Try to support your partner in this time or your potential partner because you guys do have 
you guys do have the ability to really have hope with a new journey with each other. But you gotta stop avoiding it. Or, or, um... Or you're gonna miss a really good opportunity, basically. Okay, there's pile one and pile two, so hopefully somebody found this helpful. Um, check out my other videos if you have not already, and make sure you subscribe. Okay, bye, love and light.